All right, it's DFW DJ School. Your boy DJ XL. I'm uh, going to share with you. Uh, people have been asking me how I clean my records. I've got 1,300 records to date. Uh, what I did is I purchased the spin cleaner. Let me show you the box. Uh, this is the box here. Uh, you see it's spin clean, uh, record wash, MK2. And it's a very simple uh, mechanical type cleaner. I mean, it's not automatic. It's not battery powered or anything like that. Um, it comes with your, your basin that has your fluid in it, which is uh, distilled water and the spin cleaner that's included. Also included with the product, you get the rollers, which are adjustable. You get size for 33 RPM records, 78 RPM records, 45 RPM records. So whichever size the record is, uh, you would move the, the rollers accordingly. You also have these brushes right here that are removable and cleanable. And <coughs> there's one on each side. And the record literally fits inside the basin and you spin it to clean it. And then you remove it, dry it, boom, you're done. Um, this is the 40th anniversary version. So this, for some reason, they colored it brown. The, the, the normal ones are yellow. The yellow actually works out better. I got the distilled water in there already and I've already got the, uh, the fluid. The yellow works out better because you can actually see the dirt in the bottom once you finish cleaning your records. With the brown colored container, it's harder to see the dirt. So it's harder to know when to replace the fluid. So I won't be keeping this fluid too long, needless to say. Um, the unit comes with the, uh, with the basin, the brushes, the rollers to spin the record on. Comes with the cleaner, comes with the uh, directions, comes with two cleaning cloths to dry or clean, and like I said, all you do is add distilled water and you're good to go. Here is a Peter Frampton record. It's pretty jacked up. I don't know if, you, if the camera's going to pick that up too well, but there's uh, there's dust on it. There's fingerprints. It's it's just a dirty record. Um, if I were to put this on my turntable, it would not play too well. I'm trying to get all kind of angles so you can see it there. Because I'm going to give you a before and after. I just hope it does it justice. Camera. Alright. Now you simply uh, distilled water in the basin up until the, uh, until the line. There's a line in there that you, that you stop at, the fill line. You put three caps of this in there, which I've already done. And you simply insert the record between the brushes and on the rollers, and you rotate three times. So I'm gonna go to the 12 o'clock position three times. That's once, twice, three times. So you do it clockwise three times, then you do it counterclockwise three times. One, you can really feel the resistance on a brush too, so you can tell it's getting in there, it's cleaning the record really good. Two, it's actually kind of hard to turn. Three, and let me, let me also mention that the label is not getting wet, so you don't have to worry about that. It literally cleans to just right before the label. Then you just remove the record. It's got a nice clear gloss on it already. You take your uh, gloss that are included and you wipe uh, clockwise three times to dry it off. So once, twice, three times. And I'll do it to the opposite side as well. I've got a microfiber cloth on the bottom so it, has to, it won't scratch the record. So once, twice, three times. I can tell you too it gives off a nice clean smell. So finished product looks almost, almost new, almost new. Now, before I would put this back in the sleeve, I would probably let it set a good five minutes to let any residual uh, moisture dry up. 
But uh, as I mentioned, the smell, when you buy used records from uh, Goodwill or wherever, they always had that kind of musty smell, like they've been sitting there for a while, like with the books and everything else. So imagine 1,300 of those sitting on your shelf. So yeah, uh, this, this, it, this does have a good clean smell. It gives a good clean finish. See so if you can see that. Oh yeah, see. The reflection is a lot nicer and a lot cleaner than before. Uh, of course, it doesn't take the scratches out. There's a couple of scratches on here, but it does give it a nice clean finish. So that's the Spin Cleaner M2K, the 40th anniversary edition. This is how I clean records using this device here. I'm going to do another video showing how I do it manually, how I did it before I got this little device here. So that'll be part two of this video. Uh, DFW DJ School, your boy DJ Excel. Hope this helped. Practice, 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 and then practice some more. Peace.